My name is Liam Pretzel. I'm the Operations Director here at Tomahawk Scout Reservation, uh, which means I kind of work with all the logistics processes uh, and make sure everything in camp is running smoothly. Camp Tomahawk is a bit over 3,000 acres. In it, we have a mix of forests, marshlands. Uh, obviously, we're surrounded by the lake. We can use the lake as well for all of our activities. I love the fact you see your child with their weaknesses and they go through something like this and they grow. They, you know, my daughter is a, was a very introverted person and now she's stretching herself and wanting to be SPL and being SPL and learning different skills, dealing with people, organizational skills, camping skills, cooking skills, troubleshooting, working out problems. It's been a wonderful experience. Yeah, so we have three different sub camps, three different Scots BSA sub camps, White Pine, Sioux Camp, and Chippewa. Each sub camp has some different activity areas. They have a beach, uh, the ecology area, a scout craft area, they all have their own climbing tower. Each and every one has their own set of staff uh, and different ways of running their programs that all provide them some uniqueness. You can be that person that's there for them and you can be that person who helps them get through the week and helps them have a really, really good time, which encourages them to stay in scouting and gain more and more new experiences. The first merit badge session starts at 8.45 a.m. Uh, and goes through 10.30 a.m. And during that time, they'll be doing some sort of merit badge of their choosing. Then there's a second merit badge session every single day from 10.45 until 12.15. And that'll be a different merit badge of their choosing. Some merit badges will run across both of those two sessions. Certain high adventure activities will as well. But after those two merit badge sessions, they then go to lunch, after lunch is troop activities. There's three different one hour blocks of a different troop activity each time. So a troop activity might be your whole troop is going to the climbing tower. They might all have a session at the beach where they can just go swimming or sailing or boating. During this time, your troop might go to ice cream outpost. It's just a time for your troop to work on an activity together and have some troop bonding. Then after that is dinner and after dinner is open program from seven to 8.30. And during open program, they can do whatever they would like to do. We open various areas and they can wander between all of them or go to whichever area interests them. In the evening, over meal times as well, they can work on merit badges. They can meet with their counselor at any point in time that their counselor is available. Now being a leader at camp, is more than just taking a week of vacation and coming up here. It's, it's the opportunity to, to work with youth on a around-the-clock basis for seven straight days. And year after year, you watch these kids develop from being little kids that are homesick the minute their mom and dad drop them off and leave to leaders, a couple years, after a couple years, leaders of the, of the troop who everybody's looking forward, uh, looking towards to make uh, the decisions, lead the scouts through a week of fun. Uh, it's, it's just a joy to be a part of that. I'm proud to be associated with such a wonderful uh, camp for almost 20 years now. Well, our older scout programs are a bunch of different activities in different fields. Uh, so there's some aquatics focused ones like catamaran sailing, which is kind of the next step above small boat sailing. There's windsurfing and then as well as some non-aquatic activities. We have mountain biking where we have our own bike trails on the property that they can use. We have some off-site trips such as a whitewater kayaking trip, a canoeing trip, uh, and then another biking trip. They have a welding program and a metalworking program in which they do the welding or metalworking merit badges up at our forge in the Gruenhagen shop. We have a STEM program which does different STEM merit badges and STEM activities. Camp is special to me because I get to see the scouts just light up when they find something new, something exciting, something they never thought they'd try before and find out that they love it. I'm amazed every day that we run three Scouts BSA camps here at Tomahawk, that we run a Cub Scout camp and a Family Island camp.
What's special about Tomahawk is just the connections that we make with our scouts and the way that we run our programs and the way that we are there serving the people and making sure that our customer, our scouts, our families, our friends get everything that they can out of here. Things that they expected to get out of camp and things that they might not have expected to get out of camp. Your campsite is kind of your home base, so everything's designed to be within your campsite. So there's different tent sites inside of your campsite where you can set up your tent and split into patrols if that's what you'd like to do, or you can just kind of put them all in one space and have one big tenting area. Every single campsite has a bear box to store smellables in, as well as a latrine to use the bathroom. We also have a shower house in every single subcamp that all of the campsites would share. And inside of the shower house are flush toilets if that is what you prefer. Each subcamp has its own style of food. Sioux Camp, food is dropped off at your campsite every single day. So your food is always delivered to you. Sometimes you have to cook it, sometimes you don't. So in Chippewa, you'll be eating all three meals in the dining hall. In White Pine, you'll be eating all three meals in the outdoor dining shelter. Uh, it has basically a roof above your heads, a concrete platform, and then a bunch of picnic tables underneath it. 